Kat added like those FFZ things a while back, probably last January. I still don't know, Vibe Duck was one, probably that one. Like, it needs more dancing animals, I'm like, I can't really argue with that, honestly. That's okay. You can add dancing animals. No idea what dance for a reason. Like, I'm not sure. Something. Something dancing. Presumably a dancing animal of sorts. Take the bottom row like a sucker named Sidetrack from British Columbia, Canada. Or do we continue with the top row jump? <laughs> I feel I might have called that Sidetrack too much there. This, this is where we PB, where we dock Sidetrack. See, I think I'm like too far out in this log now. Normally I don't, or apparently I know nothing about this game. That was apparently the perfect log placement to make that stupid jump, so... Yep. I was gonna say, like, it felt weird because I'm not usually on the right side there, but I, again, know nothing. I could do that 100% of the time, like I would 100% kill this dude on hard mode the same way. But I think, and I should actually check that in tasks, but I think with like how the debris falls on the right side, it's like a sub-pixel thing whether you get hit or not standing beside the guy.
Uh oh. Shit. I just spawned him too early. He stopped to admire some tree branches there, but he was very fast on other ones. <sighs> okay, let's not die in Blue Planet like a chump. Am I safe here? No, I'm not. Okay. Now we know. You know what would be dumb? Like, I just thought of that. I don't know if anybody ever checked that, but like, what does it give you points for at the end of the thing? That would be dumb if this entire time, like, not killing enemies would give you less points. Rather, at the end of the stage. But I'm pretty sure it's just like the boss. So.
Hmm. <clears throat> it's pretty crazy how much that mattered. <clears throat> like last time I streamed this a few days ago, Callum was in here and he told me that I was doing like that snake section bad. So I tried to fix that. I tried to add like another spot where he destroys the block slightly faster. And then just do the stage a little bit cleaner. And I've already gotten two golds there. No, dude, how? What? That was almost so good. And I also took two hits through the air. See, like, we're still making mistakes there. In the climb, rather. But I'm getting in here lower and lower. Because I'm starting to get in here at, like, 7-1x. But that's still off a mistake. Because I still fell there. I like how that was technically horrible, and then we're directly on pace to tie a sidetrack now. For second place! <clears throat> See, I'm almost at a point where like, I want to reset on mistakes like that. Because I really want to go back to hard mode, but I don't want to keep running normal. So I'd rather reset on, you know, like a mistake that's rather costly and then hopefully get like that run.
possible split to match here for him. Uh, I messed it up. Dude, that was really bad. So I lost some time here for sure, but it should still be relatively close to the same pace, I guess. So like, I don't even know what these splits are like though, because the last three splits are like, literally gold. So I'm almost going to lose time on the last three no matter what. It's so like, even though this looks like an okay lead, the end game is atrociously difficult. Or at least in these splits to run against. takes like nine minutes to beat. See, I don't have, like, a lot of time to save in this split. Like, there's a little bit, but...
have to wait. I really stalled like right before that jump. But I think if I tried for the one cycle, it would have got killed. Like ridiculous. Oh boy! <laughs> I like scraped the top of his head. That was way closer than it should have been. This was a really good magma. Depending on the boss, anyway. Okay, this was a really good magma. So I was gonna say the sad thing about this magma is like there's probably still not enough time to. Oh, it's gonna be so close, man! I did mess up in my PV on the boss kill, so in theory, it's a possible second place if everything goes well, but... Like, I knew that Magma was gonna be good, but I didn't think it was, like, that decent that we're... We have a shot anyway. But I gotta really be uncomfortably difficult in the head boss. Cause that's like my only time save. I think Willy has like a small time save in like the final boss kill, but... Mm, I don't know, but it's really just the head boss. It's a burst, I didn't say.
See, like, the sad part, though, is, again, like, everything that came before. Like, Magma was so good, but then Salvage was kind of bad. There was two mistakes in Salvage, so, like, we could have been pretty far ahead again. to make it count. I'm pretty happy with that, but it was double, double, single, double. So that probably should still be faster than the other PV, but it was not perfect. It's a 7 frame window to do all that stupid double damage stuff. So we got it 3 out of 4 times anyway. And the head boss itself was decent. Which is just another dumb source of time loss. Nice. Pixel is crap. It's gonna be close, man. Like, if the boss fight goes well, it's gonna be really close. I'm very curious. Uh, we tied? We tied him! No! <laughs> oh, man. We just cannot beat Sidetracked, eh? That's silly. I, I will go on the record literally saying that. Like, Simpsons has such a good quote. A tie is like kissing your sister. Like, Sidetrack, no! <laughs> Why did you have to have a 2401? How come you couldn't add a 2402? <laughs> Yo, thanks Mirig, Vin, Burst Angel, ZK, Jish. So that was like a 5 second gold in Magma. That, that was pretty good. I think it went from 2345 to 48. Sidetracked is so good, man. Like, he, he's such a good underrated runner. His time in normal is substantially harder than his Warpless record. Cause, well, I mean, like, actually at the same time... Actually, no, that's not true. Because I was going to say that in Warpless, like, I beat his time and then I dropped it, like, 33 seconds. So, there was a lot of time that he left on... Uh, the table for sure. But in normal, technically I haven't dropped below his time yet. Like, we literally just tied him. Unless I split, like, late somehow, but I'm pretty sure it was a tie. So at that point, I could get maybe 20 seconds under him, but it shows, like, how much cleaner that he ran normal. But salvage, like, look at that. If there was one less mistake in salvage, I actually messed up a little bit on the boss kill, so that probably cost the tie. 
I missed like one row of lasers with Willy in the final kill. So there's time to save, I guess, in the future there. Let's see here. We have one second to save in <laughs> green planet. Yeah, okay, sure. We have no time to save in blue. Apparently that was a true gold. We have four seconds to save in red. Oh man, something happened. Oh yeah, the boss fight in yellow was shitty. I missed like an entire cycle. So we actually have six seconds to save in yellow planet still. Four seconds to save in Sal. Four seconds to save in Salvage. Magma was the best that I ever did it. And then we have, <laughs> okay, sure. We have 0 0.4 to save and escape. So that was very close to a gold. So I probably am not gonna save. Actually, maybe I, I will. I, I can possibly still save sometime there. <clears throat> oh man. That magma split is gonna be awful. That was like probably as perfect as I can do that stage in every single way. See, do I? I think I'll try one or two more, honestly. I feel... Like, I, I still feel that this isn't, like, what I'm obviously capable of. I do think... I, I, I'm, de I'm def... Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Marine. I said I'm definitely not gonna stop until I get 23 something. Like, 23 anything in this game is insane. You just have to do so good. So we'll shoot for a 23, both the bop side track, both to just have a 23 in normal. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. I was actually talking to Kat about that, like, not even two days ago. That was, like, we were kind of talking about games that, like, we rented as a kid and stuff. And I remember renting that game all the time. But pretty much, like, when I became an adult, um, I don't think I ever played it again. It's, it's weird playing that one in particular because it's Chemco. And then you can literally hear kind of like, um, like I would say like shades of kind of like the Shadowgate sound font in like some of the notes and like the way that they synthesized like some of the music in that castle game. 